Hey everyone! Welcome to Sprinkle of Liquid Sunshine. I am Christina. Thank you so much for joining me in my cozy little crafting corner. As you can see, I have a Hobby Lobby bag. I did a little birthday gift card shopping mini spree this week because Hobby Lobby was having their 30% off week on yarn. So I ran down there to use up my gift card and I am going to share all of the things I got. Um, if you would like, you can also follow me on Instagram as Sprinkle of Liquid Sunshine. If you are a return viewer, thank you so much for joining me. And if you are new, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. So I'm just going to start at the beginning and show you all the pretty yarns that I picked up. Um, all but a few of these are actually brand new to me, so I'll let you know which ones I, I haven't used before. So, we will start off with this beauty here. Look how pretty that is. Shade, kind of pinky. This is Yarn B Warm and Cozy Blush. This was... Oh, and it's soft and squishy. This is a um, medium four weight yarn. Um, uses a US five knitting needle, it says here. US five millimeter. Okay, so this is 78% acrylic, 13% nylon, and 9% polyester. This has 317 yards, three and a half ounces. And look how pretty, I think that's just so, so pretty. This is the palest, palest pink, and then it has kind of a gray fuzz over it, which is gonna be so pretty for like a hat or a cowl. It's coming across more gray than it is. It's uh, very, very, yeah, it's not coming across. It's a little bit more light pink. So it was very pretty. This was $4.99. I got all of these yarns 30% off, so I paid $3.49 for that. I just got one because I had never tried this one before. It looks like it'd be nice to use. It looks very, very soft. I mean, it's very fluff, fluffy. So I think that would make a nice cowl, a real cozy cowl to wear. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let's... I have used... I love this yarn before, um, but only... I love this yarn Sparkle. I got it for my daughter. She wanted... Uh, she picked out this bright pink with silver sparkle, which was super nice to use. So I actually have a big project that I'm working on. And uh, so I bought just a standard, no sparkle, um, worsted weight, acrylic, straight, I love this yarn. I'll show you the label here. I love this yarn. I will tell you a little bit about this. So this is um, 7 ounces, 355 yards, not bad, 100% acrylic, medium 4 weight, uses a 5 millimeter, it, re it recommends a 5 millimeter knitting needle or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. This again, it's very soft, it's so soft, it's way softer than is way softer than um, Red Heart. It kind of is the softness, I would say, and the denseness. Similar to the that Caron One Pound that I showed last week. Kind of feels like that to me. Yeah, I would say it kind of, it kind of reminds me of that Caron One Pound. This color, oh, is Amethyst. How pretty of a name. It is a pretty color. I picked this because I have a small project that I'm doing, so I had something in mind. Um, but the remainder of it will go to 
hat, cowl, whatever my um, daughter would like because she's the purple girl. So there's that one. $4.99. Again, 30% off. $3.49. So that was not bad. If you're going to get yarn from Hobby Lobby, I think every other week, possibly, or maybe every three weeks, 30% off the, all their yarn. So if you just wait, 30% off and then, you know, go get your yarn. Okay, so another new to me is some more, I think the rest might be, these are all, the rest of these are all yarn B. So we have another yarn B. This is Cotton DK. I was super excited, number one, DK. I don't have a whole lot of DK weight stuff and I'm always on the hunt for DK, although this is cotton so I'm not sure how it's going to you know work up but we'll see it's very very soft this is called um, yeah yarn B cotton DK and it kind of honestly I don't know how to pronounce it I know it has a name but the shape of it reminds me of a <laughs> lion brand homespun yarn but this doesn't seem to it's pretty small. I don't know that it will split. We'll see. But I got it in this really, really pretty. I'm hoping it's nice to work with and it holds shape semi well because it's cotton. I'm looking, I want to make um, another light summer spring shawl to wear. I wanted to try it first because you never know how it's going to, I've had issues with other yarns where you buy it and it doesn't wash so this is three and a half ounces 100 grams 235 yards 100% cotton it is 100% cotton so there's that it doesn't have anything else in there which could be good and it could be bad at the same time so this is a light DK three weight the color is blush did I say 235 yards recommended needle knitting needle four millimeter recommended crochet four and a half um, 4.99 paid 349 for that it's really soft it's hundred percent cotton but it doesn't feel like dish cloth cotton at all it feels like you know clothing type cotton okay so next okay this one is <laughs> This one kind of reminded me of something. Um, this is Yarn B. Yarn. Nar, yarn B. Yarn Topia in. Oh, I. Uh, Cerulean. I, I know that's like obviously a color name, and I've never actually said it out loud, so I probably said it wrong. Uh, but it kind of reminds me. It reminds me of um, Caron Simply Soft. It's really kind of silky smooth and it's very sh shiny. Not as shiny as Simply Soft, but it's it's semi shiny. Um, again, like I said, this is cerulean is the color that I have. Uh, four ounces, 312 yards. This is 100% acrylic, and this is a two weight. So it, you know, it's, it's light, but that's fine. Again, this is, I'm looking, it feels very light and airy. So I was thinking it might be good for something, a light shawlette for the summertime, just to kind of throw on to protect my shoulders. Yeah. So again, $4.99 regular price. You go when they have 30% off and it's $3.49. And I think that's super soft. It's so soft. I mean, it's really, really soft. I can't wait to use that one. I might have to use that one first. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the next one I got, this is, um, this has all kind of ingredients in it. And it's probably because it's a tweed yarn. So this is Yarn B. Tweed Indeed, which is a super adorable name. <laughs> This is Olive Tweed, 
three and a half ounces in this, um, only 180 yards. It's a small little skein here. Um, yeah, so ingredients list. Are you ready? 40%, 46% acetate, 46% cotton, which explains it's super soft, 6% viscose, and 2% polyester. This is a medium four weight. Yeah, it's a medium four weight, it says on there. It's a light four weight. It's very soft. I think this would make a, a really nice, like, little cowl type thing. I, yeah, it's nice and soft. And I like that it has lots of little, this tweed isn't too, some tweeds that I find, they have these giant uh, things poking out, but this has all, they're pretty small in size. But they're very bright colors in this one. So there's like pink and turquoise, which from far away you probably won't see. I think this would be good for some sort of nice pattern would show up with that. So this was $5.99, so I paid $4.19 for that. And I picked things that I never used before, and I plan on just making very small things just to test it out, test how the yarn crochets or knits most likely knit knits up you know how it holds its shape obviously cottons they're not gonna really hold very well but they'll hopefully be drapey so I only bought one skein of each because I don't want to buy a bunch for a big project unless I know that it's gonna do basically what I want it to do okay so next I have Yarn B Fresco Fiber. Fresco Fiber in this really pale blue. It's kind of like a got kind of a matte finish to it and it's a little tweedy. I don't know if you can see. It has little white little white tweedy speckles in it. It's very, very light, but yeah, there you can see a little bit. So this is so soft. This is a three weight. So I was excited. Another DK to give a whirl. I, I am looking mostly though for solid DKs, things that I could do. Uh, color work stuff. <laughs> I was looking. So this color is chambray. This is uh, three and a half ounces, 290 yards, not bad, 59% um, cotton, 36% acrylic, 5% from other fibers, which is probably those little speckles all over, I assume. Um, uses a four millimeter knitting needle, suggested and five millimeter crochet hook suggested. This is very soft also. This is very soft, but I feel like next to this other cotton here, I feel like this is more cottony feeling and it has less cotton in it, <laughs> if that even makes any sense. This one is, the um, Cotton DK is 100% cotton and I feel like it's smoother. It's smoother cotton. I mean, this still feels nice. It feels like it'd be cool. Definitely wearable. All of these are wearable. Every single one. I, I have very sensitive skin, so it's real hard. Okay, the last two that I bought, I'm going to start out by um, saying I previously was in there, and I had bought three Hanks. I had bought three hanks of Yarn B Authentic Hand Dyed Tonal Yarns. It's They're kind of newish um, hand dyed yarns um, in dark denim, which is right here. That is brighter than it really is. 
So I bought it to um, knit uh, the V-back tee. Um, this yarn is practically black. I do most of my knitting um, super early in the morning before my girls wake up, before school starts. Um, so black yarn, dark morning. I mean, almost black yarn there. It's, that's how dark it is. Uh, it was kind of hard to do a whole entire sweater, number one, in all super dark yarn. And number two, um, Michaela overhooked in a flash. She actually did, finished her V-back tee before I got past, um, got even to sp split for my sleeves. And the way that it um, laid, I wasn't a fan of. Um, in reading all the other people talking about it, you have to block a lot. Um, and I'm not into heavily blocking anytime I want to wash my sweater. So I frogged it and it's beautiful. I'm, I want something made out of this, but I was thinking I'm going to divide the three that I have into maybe two with one of these and and one with the other. So I bought to go with the dark denim. I bought, oh it's so so pretty. Oh yeah. This, um, oh yeah. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. Oh, all those like purples. This is uh, Yarn Bee Authentic Hand Dyed Tonal. Same, yeah, I got the tonal. And this is called Beet Root. I would undo it but to show you even more. But it has this little loopy tag on it. So I'm thinking that this, because I held up a, a hank of um, what I have, at, they had another one at the store with it. Love, love, love. Those two together are going to be. Oh no, that's good. There you go. These two together, in some way, I have a shawl in mind. Um, but, oh yeah. See, those two are going to be so, so, so pretty together with those purples. And then hopefully it will break up how much really dark, dark yarn I have. I really hope. <laughs> because I love this blue. This blue is gorgeous. When I was knitting it up, oh, it is so beautiful. <coughs> and uh, I frogged it and, and it didn't catch or anything and it knit really well. I didn't have any, I don't remember any splitting issues. So, I didn't wash it or anything, so I don't know any how it's going to wash up. Oh, details. Let me give you the details on that. I'm so excited because it's so pretty. So this is three and a half ounces, 100 grams. This has 420 yards of a uh, super fine one suggested knitting needle size 2.75 millimeters suggested crochet hook size 3.25 millimeters this again is called beetroot oh, so so pretty gosh beet raw <clears throat> beetroot it's 100 percent super wash merino wool and it is uh, oh yeah so my love it it's beautiful okay so I got another one of the hand dyed yeah got another one of the hand dyed to also go with this one I have a very specific like pattern picked out um I've been wanting to work with speckles <laughs> I haven't I haven't ever used a speckled yarn and they look like so much fun look at that so much fun fun. There's like neon green and super bright turquoise and magenta. There is 
like some really really dark it looks like black in here so pretty so pretty and this again I think I held it up with the the uh, See with that blue. Oh, it's really blown up. There we go. So pretty. Yeah. So that blue, and I'll break it up with little stripes of this speckled. Um, speckled yarn. So this is Yarn B, authentic hand dyed frosted galaxy. Frosted Galaxy. So, oh, this one is, this one's hanked up different, so I can unravel it a little bit and show you. Oh, see, so pretty. I think there's even, like, purples in there. I mean, look at that. So, so fun. I think that'll be so pretty, the bright white with little pops of color in it, with that dark, 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 like, midnight blue. So this is the same as the other one, 400 yards, super fine one, three millimeter knitting, three millimeter crochet. That's interesting. That's, <laughs> it's not the same. Okay, that's, okay, it, it's 100% super wash merino wool. All the other things is 400, oh no, this speckle one, is actually, yeah, so the speckled one only has 400 yards. This has 420 yards. The recommended needle size is different for this one than the other two, uh, the tonal co colorways. The tonal colorways say a 2.75 and a 3.25 knitting crochet. This one, the speckled galaxy, it says a three millimeter knitting and a three millimeter crochet. So I don't, I mean, it looks the same. It looks, it feels the same. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is even, so even with this beetroot, it has the same little color pops in there. If I, I mean, I have three full I bought three full hanks of this, so I have a whole sweater's worth. I am not, I mean, even though, how gorgeous is, would that be? Because this magenta is picked up in here, and then I have this blue as a back, I mean, all three of those would be, <laughs> right? I mean, so pretty together. Anyway, I'll figure it out, and I will make something fantabulous, I, I hope. I hope I don't frog it. Anyway, that is, oh, the price. So these, they're more expensive. They are hand dyed. They're very nice. They're very squishy. Easy to work with, because I already worked with the other one. These are more expensive. They are $14.99 a hank. But if you go to a little yarn shop for hand dyed, yarn by someone hand dyeing it at home or or small batches you're gonna pay you know 25 sometimes up to 33 dollars for a hank which i pay for occasionally i will because it's worth it you know the people take their time and they're beautiful i have some beautiful beautiful hanks of yarn but for someone you know that once a hand dyed hank of yarn, $14.99 is really not bad for 100% super wash merino wool. So $14.99 is really not bad. It is still expensive. I mean, obviously compared to these $4.99, $3.99, you know, all of that. But, you know, a big project to buy, you know, three, for me to buy three hanks, for me that was expensive. That was an expensive buy. So $14.99, I did get the 30% off. So these were all $10.49, which 
he's he, it's a really good deal if you can afford it obviously it's a good splurge too 1049 for one hang you can do quite a bit with 400 yards you can make yourself a nice little shawl with 400 yards so in total I got one two three four five six seven eight I got two hand dyed hanks and six of the uh, little skeins originally was $61.92 and I paid $43.34 now I don't shop like this all the time the only reason I did is my husband for my birthday was so sweet and got me a gift card so I took myself on this little shopping spree I hope you enjoyed and if you did please like and subscribe follow along I have um, other things that I'm going over I have a Leather Co subscription box video that I'm releasing soon I also every week have like a regular showing off my whips and FOs um, work in progress um, finished objects objects <laughs> And, and things like that. So if you'd like, join me again, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, sprinkle of liquid sunshine. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye.